Hello everyone, it's Brian, and welcome back to Skyrim Survival Legendary, the game where the cat has nine lives. We are in Blind Cliff Bastion, but we are merely retracing our steps because we have been we have been sent word that what we thought was going to be an eternal fight between Melka and Petra in this tower had has been resolved victoriously in favor of our gal Melka. And so here we are and here is Melka and she's just standing here next to her enemy's body, but she's not responding to my frantic attempts to talk to her. So that's a little bit disappointing. On the other hand, I can now level up in her bed. So we will take a little bit of healthy poo, because we're always going to need healthy poo. So there's sneak available, not eligible for heavy armor. I may have to find a heavy armor trainer here. Recover twice as many arrows is not bad. Or stagger all but the largest opponents 50% of the time is so much better. So much better. Anything that keeps people from bashing on Kitty during combat. All right, it's, it's clear that she's not going to talk to me. Although I've reconsidered this dwarven axe of thunderbolts or whatever. I'm going to... All right, I'm eating my way through some reagents. To anything, to, anything to lower my, lower my amount of crud. We'll drop some of this food or eat it all up. She's just not going to talk to me. See, I think she would give me a really awesome. She's promised me a staff, uh, but clearly, somehow, in the act of leaving the room to let her be able to actually beat Petra, I have encountered. This will shock you. A bug in Skyrim. So, so we're on our way. Let us uh, go back out of here. Elvis has left the dungeon. And we will get back on the road to Markarth because I think we are. I think we're in the home stretch here. Horsey was able to hold down the fort without feeling like he had to go attack something or otherwise get lost. That's always uh, commendable and horsey. Follow the road, ignore the guy. Hopefully this is, oh yeah, I see a windmill. That's usually a good sign. A stable symbol, that's definitely a good sign. We are approaching Markarth, our second major city. Markarth is built inside of old Dwarven ruins itself. So it looks all Dwarven ruiny. This is a little embarrassing part where I get turned around on the road and go the wrong way. But at last we gallop in. So it, it, it'll all look all dwarven-y, but that means there's deeper dwarven ruins still waiting to be discovered. Oh, and there's a horse and cart. We're now allowed to ride that horse and cart specifically to White Run and back because we've been here. Uh, this is all according to my special rules for the series uh, to make it more challenging and fun. Now that we've walked here ourselves or horsed here ourselves. It's okay. I just need a war dog. That's essentially a companion. However, I do want to stop you right here and talk about some mods. So I've been doing some mods research, and I was looking for ones that are either aesthetic or bug fixes, nothing that changes gameplay balance stuff. So in addition to the un unofficial patch, I've, had, I've added the super double unofficial survival patch, which fixes the food problems I was having once I installed the unofficial patch, so I won't have to eat only, only salmon steaks, although I think it's actually kind of fitting that Kitty likes to eat salmon steaks. I added immersive citizens, which gives people more 
detailed schedules. Like just they'll like warm themselves by the fire, and and some of the people that wouldn't bother to go sleep in their bed will now do so. And then the relationship dialogue overhaul makes people not just say the same darn thing to you every single time. That gives them a little more variety of their of their existing voiceovers and a little bit better intelligence about when to use them. Marriage voice types plus I stuck in there because I realized that Kitty is going to want to marry a kitty and this extends the marriage dynamics to actually work with the other kitty cats in the game so we will eventually be able to go courting. Static mech, static mesh improvements are graphics, enhanced blood trick textures are bloody graphics. Quality world map is graphics. The whole board banner, hold, hold border banners I thought just kind of looked cool. Point the way makes the road signs, you know, have have the right number of little nubbins to point the way. <laughs> and then I have added Sky UI. I had to go to 2.2, which is an older version because using special edition that's the latest version you can use so far because of the script extender isn't isn't really working and available yet for special edition and then finally the the mod I'm, I'm perhaps the most proud of uh, is the one I made myself I <laughs> I have just hacked my horse's name into the game made a little made a little ESP file that names my horse's horsey Mick horseface as kitty's horse should be. So let's, with that in mind, head on into Markarth and learn about a new town. Alright, so we here's a crime in progress. So that was nice. Hello Waylon. That was nice. You killed a nice lady. And you're setting the nice guard on Fuego. All right, we'll watch this this thing transpire. So this is the welcome to Markarth <laughs> uh, action. We can see some enhanced blood textures on the ground as he gets hacked at. If it gets too silly, I'll take that one back out. But hey, we'll just learn how it is. He did get he did get to get hacked to death. So so that's something. All right, so we should probably everyone stay back. The Markarth city guard have this all under control. There are no forces. Alright, maybe we'll just talk with we'll people around here. here and move along. The Forsworn. Oh, the Forsworn. I said Why? move along. The Forsworn are just a bunch of mad. That's right. It I isn't. I think Kitty's gonna get to Guns. be doing some Forsworn. We attacked right on the streets. Are you all right? Did you see what happened? Eltris is talking to me. The Forsworn. Strange. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. All right, so he gave us a secret note, and it says, Meet me at the Shrine of Talos. Uh, and it is, all right, it's toward the end of the day, so it might not be the perfect time to go to stores anyway. So let's go to the Shrine of Talos, which I think is right up the steps here. Get our, so yeah, there's going to be some in a new city. I want to get all the quests initiated. Get my get my good quests. Figure out which ones are going to be good quests and doers and not doers. All right, there's old Talos. And here's our friend. I'm sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. He'll do. Alright, so he wants us to go find out what's going on. I you think. want answers? A man goes crazy in the market. This has been. Please, you find out. So we gotta find out about Wayland and the Forsworn. And that's gonna involve looking up information on several people. And I think that does lead down one of the main Markarthian quest lines. So we'll they're still here. file yes. that one away. He was killed. I've been trying to find... I swore I was going to just give up for my uh, child's sake, we but it's like... done talk to... Eltris. And we may need to... They want to check in at the old inn. I don't know anything about this house. I think it's what, no. right down here. 
anyone seen an injury or leaving? Any strange lights or unusual noises? It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. The bloodiest beef in the reach. Talk to some of these people. Need something? Are you looking for a gift for a friend, perhaps? My family. But you here. I have a delivery I need oh, to Oh, a delivery to Cal Selmo. I would be happy to make that. I sure was going to Cal Selmo myself. One answers to ask at the end. She took a right. And she's just selling rings and things and doesn't have much money. Come back if you need a new ring or necklace. Don't try to haggle with me. Who? Didn't know her. Guards dragged her body. Right, so he the answers denies all an knowledge. Let me show you where they are. Do I look like a guide? Take a look. And he sells meat and not Come Kitty's favorite kinds of meat. meat. Oh, uh, so he's not, but they've got a treasure in there. Okay, oh. so well, let's not. Nah, just you'll be helping out an old beggar. All right, and so the I'm now stuck with a quest to steal a thing for a guy. Well, I may outsider. or may not do that. Yeah. I am allowed to steal. When a quest Mark tells me to, doesn't mean I have to. If I was threat, you outsiders never learn. I might do that to follow up if there's going to be a quest line in, in it. The river, blood and it's right there. All right. They so he's just giving us background on how out. the silver bloods are yeah. the major the money family. Jarl is as long as you don't mind going axe to axe with a bunch of Daedra worshippings. And apparently the Jarl is going to want us to. Come on in. The silver go deal with the Forsworn. All right, so here we are in the inn. The this is also where we need to find Arch, out about a witch hunter in town from the priest. To find out about Stendhal. Margaret. Keeps asking questions. Did you hear? The Hall of the Dead is closed. Our rumors. Brother isn't the most popular man in town. Right? Best we all forget about her. All right. the bad luck to talk about the dead in Markar. So... He's staying here, here in the end. Take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Get a Drink bounty letter. Thirsty. That's good. And we will... It is. I always... Sure it seems like these guys always have, like, one... One thing of salt. <laughs> All right. There's our... I've been cleaning oh, up no shipments. Put us over the, so us over the weight limit. All right, so. Well, that's not where he's headed. Why can't your father be more There's our room. Okay, so he's the going there. No, that must be like our now. bed. Yay, bed. Maybe Let me later. know if there's anything right. else you still need. Upset. That's good. Alright, that is probably Margaret's room, but it's not supposed to attain the key, the so we'll see if there's a... Alone. We can find a key around here somewhere. The Jarl is refusing to dispatch men to the front line. No. Sworn threat. He so looks so like it's the innkeeper's the room. Now you just tell me if you need some. Uh, yeah, best we all forget about her. Bad luck to talk about the dead. To remind so everybody wants to forget about her. Let's just set up our to clean this place up. Set up our quest stuff. How are your chores coming, my son? Talk to the Today people to see if there's soldier. anybody cool. I remember she had a room here. Might talk oh, to the innkeeper about it. You'll be a fine Working an old scar. That's about Oh, no, this guy actually trains in speech. Well, I, so I'm, the right I'm trying to spend some money on these trainings in the areas, in some of the areas that I don't actually particularly care as much about needing training, like you know, smithing. Uh, just because that's eventually going to be, there's going to be a point where you kind of hit the weird thing about the leveling system is you eventually hit the wall and the abilities you play with. And so if you want to be able to keep leveling up, you got you to gotta keep those guys going too. And since I can only train one time per, or five times per level, I need to get started now on not forgetting to. All right, so I gave that guy a coin so that I would get the gift of charity before I 
start doing because it helps with my barter. A man like me so, you know, if you, if you see a beggar on the way into town, know. it's good to go ahead and give him the coin because that will improve your we'll improve your barter well, for a certain amount of time. I can't remember how much. All right, so our quest arrow is pointing here, and I never got... Oh. Well, apparently I had the key all along. And so that was, uh, maybe I need to learn to read notices from the thing better. So this is Margaret's room. And all right, here in the thing is her journal. So we can see what she has to say. Blah, blah, blah. Thonar is doing some stuff, telling her to do some things. So now we're supposed to find evidence about Thonar. Fine. Little uh, detective slash FedEx questery going on. I've seen you snooping around, asking questions. Oh, right. Back you start off. doing that quest, and they start getting here. all aggressive on you around here. You're finding it. This is your last warning, outsider. Last warning. All right, I here. think we might Stay be you want that deferring some of our detective work, because I'm not it's sure okay. Kitty's ready to... You know, take on high-level guard-type guys if they get all start getting all frisky no, at me. All right, oh, craft a barter this, potion. Now that we're going to the higher, store, but she seems to have Thank a quest you. she wants I me to some, do. My Talk our way know. through some stuff. No, it was the Forsworn, wasn't it? I lose dozens of but she apparently every, isn't gonna is she not so actually small, open for it that's for this frustrating need, store i remember this story it, they'll let you in the doors at times when she actually won't sell you anything Come back whenever you need something so i think i've just blew my barter potion thanks thanks lisbeth i love hearing Thanks a hell of a lot. Yeah, 724. Well, I guess I could go... Could either try to wait here, or I can just go do other things and come back. If I wait, I know I'm giving up the barter potion. Maybe if I run really quick, I'll find somebody in time. But at 7.30 in the morning, I suspect there won't be a lot of people open. All right, so let's go down here. Get to the other stores in town. Here we have the smithing area, but nobody's home right now. The hag's cure, but nobody's home. That'll be good for our alchemy, I'm sure. Alright, so we're going to have to just head up to the palace. The Understone Keep. And we'll try to get quested up with the Jarl and stuff. What are you hiding? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. So that was the. You there? You another so Imperial? So we've got Thongvor. He's obviously likes the storm cloaks. There's a war Kitty's still. Yarl can refuse to Still see figuring things out on that front. The and, and then we've got. I think that was the. The other guy was the Hall of the He's Dead guy that. that Hall of the Dead's closed, etc. We gotta go. He like figure him out himself, but yeah i like to get all fully quested up the reach so i can do all these things and this is the way i wanted to go anyway because it leads to calcelmo it's about the hall of the dead no hm. it's where people in the city are buried i can't talk about it rest assured all right so why don't you just let us go see what's in the hall of the dead you discovered we haven't caught anyone I'm sure there's nothing you know dead you in there the or anything place. The priesthood of Arke will reward you. Take my key and be careful. Arke, it is his shrine people pray to when they visit the hall. Okay, so that's and taken care of, and here we have Cal Selma, who we came here to here? see. The excavation site is closed. Yes, the excavation site. I told you I'm not hiring anymore. You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the. I, His assistant I'm is sorry, uh, moonwalking there. I'm in the and we have a delivery well, for him. For your trouble, and we'd like to see the excavation or... site. I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. If you deal with Nimi, I'll let All right, you we gotta go deal with Nimi. 
Enthusiasm. Good. Here's the key. Nice you are? Dwarven arrows. Oh, right. I shot my dwarven arrows off. Oops. <laughs> well, I could probably yes. get more where that came they from. Invent, and then, at a time we are to protect, and the excavations into Nichuan Zell are dangerous. Dwemer machines and traps still function. Even after thousands All right, they got an enchanting tail. This is a little magic area. All right, so we'll go in the Dwarven Ruins soon enough. I promise we'll go today, but I'm going to get quested Don't up during questing hours. All right, Brew here we have the smith up. heading out to and work. Like, it's an honorable craft. And I'll show you what I can. we'll accept her very cheap very cheap services, very cheap to train in things that you don't do much, you know, it's very hard to, like, if I tried to train an archery, it'd probably cost 4000 a pop. So I like to spend my money on cheap trainings and then, you know, learn the things myself when I can. However, I think I'm going to have to go seek out a, a light armor training because I'm not getting enough, you know, the only way you get light armor training is getting hit. Here's the Jarl. Are you a uh, so we'll talk his way through him. He'll send us on my missions. Down one of the uh, one I'm not taking enough hits on my light armor to see. train me up satisfactorily, because of course I'm mostly trying uh, not to take hits on armor, stuff. because if I take hits on my armor, yes, I might get dead. We were forced to uh, so that one's going to require some expensive God's training, and I need to find a trainer. I don't think there's a light armor trainer in. The choice was clear. Markar. Many of the it was little, but the leaders of the uprising refused our offers of peace. They fled into the hills. All right, so we have got some Jarl quests, and eventually we'll come back and do those for him. All right, here's another smith. She runs the four. I think this is Mr. Smith, and that was Mrs. Smith. <laughs> Grobeg all perhaps means smith in the. Now he want he's the guy that wants the Daedra's heart, and Someone we just happen to have already found one. So let's see what that does. I hope he oh an elven helmet that could be good. The finest elven helmet. He doesn't have much in the way of arrows. Hey, look at that! He actually gave me a better helmet. Okay, well so that was worth the giving up the Daedra heart for. Gave me a helmet I'd actually wear. A lot of the times these guys say, oh, I'll forge you a thing of my very best stuff, and then it's like a steel, you know, it's like the wrong kind of armor, and it's a low-level armor. But that's going to be good. So we, I want to improve that and any other stuff. I'm just looking around for any freebie leather around here, because I need leather to improve my Forsworn armor. But he's not sitting around with any free leather, so we're going to buy the moonstone and the leather we need. The moonstone is for the elven stuff, and the leather is for the Forsworn armor. So we've got our armor all improved to max. You have the honor. Here we have some more of these badass dark elves. It's a religion. The Empire. Hey, you're they're just not all big on this like Talos thing. Ogman the Scout. He's old, respected, and I know for a but the Yarrow has been Ooh, hesitant to call this need to turn on, to break into his home turn on the guy that taught me barding the there. We allow it to and I'm not and I'm here to make sure too interested in doing that. I wish there was a way you could, like, decline quests. <laughs> uh, because some of them I just don't want to do. Like, I don't, I don't want to turn him in for his... You say anything, not that I necessarily approve of Talos worship if he's a fake god or something, but... Yes. But that yeah, where I learned to cook he was nice to me. Take a look. He was transactionally nice and told me All stuff right, and then. taught me Don't stuff. Don't mind the dogs. They get anxious when they haven't had dinner. I have to work or Anton will rip my head off. All right, so these is, this is the cooking area. And I think we have mostly explored the palace for now. After we go deal with Nimi, we can also go in the, the Dwemer Museum. Citizen. All right, so here are here is Mrs. Smith again, and now she'll quest me up with uh, go get me a copy of the book to teach him how to smith right, and now we can see what she's got to sell. Dwarven arrows. 
take Dwarven Arrows. Sell off our crud. It's viable. So, took her good arrows, sold, sold her our various extra smithing crud. Let's go up to this, what's it called? The Hag's Cure. Let's go see the Hag. We already killed us a Hag. But this is like a nice Hag. The hag's cure it. <laughs> Still, see, I even have a little... Oh, I'll deliver Thank a potion you. to the steward. All right, we can ask her her other little silly <laughs> questions. And veteran Silverblood is always asked only that they break an old woman's heart. So many... F ah, so you're an alchemist then. All right, so you know what we do at alchemists is we buy all their cheap ingredients at least because they don't have a lot of gold. We're gonna do some mixy mix mix face, which both makes us more powerful because then we have potions and poisons, but it you. also gives us things to sell and to make money, and it also levels up alchemy, so that we'll be even better at it in the future. So, definitely needed some health potions, do some various mixings of things, uh, various experiments. Health, etc. The hag's cure is here. And now we have some things that we can uh, sell her. And I took, I had made a little barter potion, <laughs> which I'm now using to sell her back the potions I made with her ingredients. And now I can afford to buy a couple of her slightly more expensive ingredients, but I'm not going to buy the really expensive ingredients. Now you let at me my know level of money. Because each ingredient is just one ingredient. All right, it doesn't matter whether it's expensive or not. But some of the expensive ones have more things. And then do some mix it. Weakness to poison. Now, there is an important one. Because weakness to poison, I think that actually stacks poison. when you shoot arrows with Take that. And so, and then I can make a potion of weakness to poison that also to is poison itself and so I can sit there and shoot those things in and that'll help me take down bigger gruntier things like I don't know dragons <clears throat> dragons and stuff later on or things that heal themselves like mages so yeah paralysis weakness to poison those are going to be some of my main tools which is also a reason I'm getting a little more it's into this crap. Uh, alchemy thing, and uh, I should probably start getting training in alchemy while I'm still a little. I should have, you know, I was in, I was in White Run, and that alchemist is a trainer, and I didn't until the very end start doing just a, did like that one touch of alchemy training, and I wish I'd done more, because of course this is when alchemy training will still be cheaper than it will be later. I can even get my gold back from her because I can, you know, it gives her more gold to sell. All right, so I'm delivering the alchemist lady's potion to this dude. So that's nice. I guess that's all he's got to say. And back. Go and I think we have that one more store that back at the the lady that the lady that stole my potion. So we have a wrong turn at the end. And now you're ready to talk to me. Well, at least she's got 52 dwarven arrows. That is uh, that is something. But boy, would I have liked to. Buy some of that while I still had my <laughs> my barter potion, but we will now sell her what we can. Uh, she is a you know general goods vendor. That's good because she you know, will accept basically anything we have for sale. It is pretty fun the way that they the way that they work that. I think I. Actually leveled up Come again. Come back whenever you need something. So that's convenient. 
But because she also sells something I actually regularly want to buy, which is to say arrows, that means Songs. I'll be able to have a, a bigger bandwidth of exchange with her because I'll be putting some money into the economy and then buying it all back out. So there's the guy they want me to turn in. I'm not going to turn him in. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. All your drinks are Okay, but we need to level up. Level up. And I'll do... We do a stamina. Health, stamina, stamina to carry more. <laughs> Greed. Not one-handed. All right, so yeah, we still got some more we can get in bows. So I could recover more arrows from bodies, which isn't bad. I could sneak better. I guess, you know, I sneak pretty well so far already. From my level, I am, you know, the things that I'm encountering at my level, I'm, I'm already out sneaking them. We'll eventually have to take those things up, but I'm not feeling like I'm having a huge problem being found. Whereas, you know, if we're about to go on a big expedition, the more arrows I get back, the the sooner I don't have to come back to town. So that you know that's good. Pay me for the I think that's anyhow. good. And we're now we're now well rested. And so maybe time to start hitting up here. Now, here's Cal Selmo. Uh, sure. Hi, I found the Dwarven Arrow <laughs> down at the other store. Excellent. I simply must have this. I'll pay you double what reverse. Come. He won't let me persuade him, but sure. You've just made an important contribution to the I'll sell him one of my valuable arrows for eight gold just, just to complete the quest. And in we go to the Dwarven Ruins, where we all know we want to go. Right, so let's see. Let's just get set up with, you know, because we got, got our new armor and new supply of arrows. Eat a little bit of food to be ready. I think when you're hungry, you, you don't sneak as well, which is kind of funny. I guess man, your stomach's grumbling or <laughs> something like that. So I need to remember to keep my keep my my food up. I think when you get cold, you don't pick locks as well, which is you know, less important unless you're running out of lock picks. Yeah, that is not the way. Not the way. Alright, so I think the idea was that there's a spider blocking the entrance in here somewhere. Look around for spiders. On this first room. Oh yeah, there's there's there it is up in the distance there. Let's see, let's, yeah, there, there's a spider. So we'll go just check what's in this room. Eh, not very much. All right, let's check out the spider situation. Well, we don't do a lot of damage with a steel arrow, do we? I admit I'm being a little miserly with my arrows. How about an orcish arrow? Doesn't like running out of arrows to make you, <laughs> you really learn how to conserve arrows and pick the arrow to the target. I got it all hot keyed up so I have different kinds of arrows I can, uh, can hot key. Hot key too without going to the menu all the time. I play on, uh, I, I play with a controller, but uh, I 
I found a little a little controls file so I can make it so I can actually use keyboard hotkeys with the controller. So now I can have eight real hotkeys. Should speed up some of the little you know combat management tasks, it's basic stuff. All right, so we killed a frostbite spider. That looks like another. It's actually two another's. Got a shadow there, dead. These are just the little baby ones, apparently. Whoops. Spotted by that one. Might be able to take that little kind of frostbite spider, but you know, why, why actually take a chance? We'll just wait to get back into hidden. When there's no other real pressure to, to hurry forward, hurrying usually gets you dead. Splat! Make a satisfying splat noise when they, when they go splat. Alright, looking for weird chests and things in the lair. Here we have the classic blocked web thing. That's why we have this fire staff. <laughs> Who's it down? Okay. Mm. This looks like the kind of room you'd have a naughty spider in. I bet it's going to drop from the ceiling because that's what big spiders seem to do in this game. Yep. Yep. Spawn one spider. Spawn one spider. So I'm sure that's the bossy McBoss face spider. And we will arm ourselves. And yeah, this is another of these spiders that can't fit down his own the tunnel of his own lair. So uh, you'll pardon me while I empty my quiver of all my cheap-ass steel arrows one at a time. Save the good ones for things that are actually dangerous. I mean, mind you, if I went in there and went right... That's probably, you know, that might be well be a hard monster if you're a... Uh, <laughs> if you're a melee warrior. Uh, or if you're a mage that can't stay hidden. A little hard, although the mages can at least back up down the corridor and heal themselves. Probably just tedious if you're a mage. But there we go. We have killed Nimi with cheapo, cheapo arrows, which we get some of back. Using our new perk to get more arrows back. And I think that lets us get to the more interesting parts of the yeah, going deeper. Got some researchers. All right, so we got to go find the researcher's journal in here. And I think this is where spiders leave off and dwarven ruins, classic dwarven ruins, pick up. The Chuanzel, <laughs> however on earth you would pronounce that. Ooh, yeah, yeah, this is what I like to see. All right, that looks like a Falmer to me. Let's see how Falmer like arrows. Set up some. Might as well use this frostbite venom we got. Well, it did some damage. It didn't do massive amounts of damage. I'm 
always a little more cautious with guys I meet right beyond an internal dungeon door because if you go through those you know once you get found they'll they'll come through with you and get a free hit maybe two free hits and that can easily be fatal so in other words it's harder to run away once you've gone through an internal dungeon load door Eat some food keep our sneak functioning there's another Falmer. Yeah, I think this is actually a pretty elaborate Dwarven Ruins. Multiple zones and stuff, so that's good. Get involved with that. 79. Oh, here comes a guy up that little side ramp. Good, good, good. So far, we seem to be able to harvest our way through Falmer without too many problems. So I think we might be an appropriate level for this. Being cautious here. Okay, he's got Falmery stuff. I like how when you find Falmer, you often find Falmer ears. Those are a alchemy component. We're in the quarters section. The third level zone. And there's a guy. Let's see, I just want to see around the corner here. Make sure there's not going to be another guy right up my wazoo as soon as I start fighting him. I should fire from the point that I want him to run to. Okay. Alright, got two red dots. Alright, so there's a guy back behind him. That's fine. That was a miss. Alright, and I should probably not provoke them any further in this direction because. Again, if I go through that door when they've spotted me, I'll be, I'll be possibly screwed. Careful around the dungeon load doors. I think that's a good thing that they may, you know, rather than it's an ex exploit for you, it's almost a difficulty for you. I mean, there's ways you can use them to your advantage, the load, load doors, but... They're also, uh, compared to earlier versions of Bethesda games, I think that's actually a pretty reasonable solution they have. I have realized that I will probably eventually, you know, get killed that way, and, you know, it's going to bring up the question of does that mean... So that means I just have to go back to the most recent save, which will be whatever the auto save was, going right through that very door, and I'll just die over and over again. And that doesn't really make sense to me, so I feel like if I die, I get to go back to whichever recent save I I want to commit to. You know, there may be sometimes I'm willing to give it a second try on the door, but I think mostly the idea is going to be I just, I you know I can go back further. To. I don't have to be a slave to the autosave. So we had a little fork in the road, and I went this way. Ooh, that looks like a, a, more, a more scary one of some kind. Can't tell if it's a mage or just... It is kind of wearing mage-ish clothing, isn't it? That is... 
Falmer Skulker. Yeah, clearly so. And a mage. Yeah, so that is a little further up the food chain than usual. Ooh, she's got her, got her magic blade. Not sure why necessarily I think that's a she. fairly satisfying. Oh, and I noticed that, like, you can see the little minor chunks going off from the poison. It's actually secondary to the main chunk. There's, like, a little after-effect of poison. Kind of cool. Alright, this looks like a door. Depth door. Excellent. Skirmisher's draft and some things to pick up and loot. All right. Ooh. That appears to be four Falmer. Four in a group. So that's going to be a little more dangerous, more of a science project. And so I think we're going to stop here. We've made it to, I think, level 19. And we still got our lives, our seven lives left. And we will continue deep into the Dwarven Ruins next time. We'll work our way through these Falmer. And we will see you next time when the cat only has nine lives.